Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome to my channel. I am the DIY Yardy. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, I am doing a shift cable, a gear shift cable on a 2010 Chevy Impala. And basically, what happened is um, the car is stuck in, well, it's in park right now. But once you start it, you uh, move the shifter, you will notice it's not moving from park. The shifter is moving like it's supposed to but it's not moving out of park. So this could be stuck in any gear, reverse, drive, neutral, anything like that could be stuck, would be the same symptom where you won't be able to move. So this is commonly the cause of this issue here where, where it connects to the, to the lever on the transmission, it wears out and jumps off or s snaps off, okay? So this is a two-piece cable. This this uh, part that connects to the transmission. This is what it looks like, and there is another part that collects. I mean, sorry, connects to the steering column. But this part that connects to the transmission is actually the bad part. And this is the replacement part here. And I'm going to remove that old part and get the new piece connected in. All right, so. Getting into this, first thing I want to do is remove my um, mass airflow sensor and um, unplug that and loosen the clamp that holds it there. That's a flat screwdriver. And unloosen these tabs and just lift that section out. Pull it up out of there like that. Got the air filter out of the way. It's basically giving me some more space to work down in here. Okay. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and try to get this cable disconnected. So, like I said, it's already it's already disconnected from the lever on the transmission. So the next section to disconnect. It's also on a transmission. Um, it's actually connected to two places on a transmission. This is the second place here. That's what holds the cable in place from moving around. So we have to get this little clip out of there. It's like a U-clip. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to pry up on it. And once I get it up to a certain height, I'm going to get a pair of needle nose uh, pliers and grab it from that point and pull it on out of there. All right, so you just wanna raise it up as far as you can get it with the screwdriver like I'm doing there. Then grab my needle nose and lift up on it from this point. You wanna get it, take it all the way out. That's gonna Grab it and pull up on it, but it's kind of a tight spot to work in, so that's why. And that's what it looks like once you get it out. So the next step from here is where that clip came from, where that U-clip came from. It's right in between these two areas here, so basically now that you remove the clip, you can squash this in and remove that cable, okay? So you have to squash those two clips in and pull the cable out from where it's locked in place at on the transmission. All right, so I'm going to get this part off from the transmission. And once I get that off of there, then I'll go to the second part of where it's connected. The two pieces are connected. So remember, like I said, this is a two-piece cable. One half is connected to the transmission, the other half is to the steering column. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up from under here. That little, um, little part that connects to the transmission, that little circle, you got to maneuver it out of that hole that it sits in. 
all right so that's with it up and this is the replacement cable so it separates right in this area and also this cable can um, go bad on the steering column side also but it just so happened that this was a transmission side okay so you want to slide that back and that white um, plastic you see there has to be popped out that is the lock clip okay and it's a good idea to mark this the old this old cable mark it right there where you see the springs are you know to get a general idea of where you're going to put the new one back okay and you know the, the clip is adjustable so if you don't get it back in the exact right position you can um, put more tension on or release the tension depending you know if your gears don't line up perfectly okay it is adjustable okay so what I'm going to do is pop that out completely and there's a little pin in here or a clip like a C clip that has to be removed to separate these cables okay so it's down in here and I'm going to grab it with my uh, needle nose and um, it might be a good idea to spread a shop towel um, under where you're working just in case this little clip falls because it is it's pretty tiny and if you drop it you might not be able to find it again okay it doesn't come with a new one in the package so you have to reuse the one on the car so you want to pull that out of there once you get it out that's what it looks like okay so you're gonna have to reuse this once we installed the new cable okay so you want to be careful with that and like I said it might be a good idea to spread a shop rag or you know something underneath where you're working just in case you lose that little clip or it falls okay so this is a new one I'm gonna slide it back right in this hole okay once you slide it back in you gotta go all the way in and then reinsert your clip and once the clip is reinserted you put it to the right adjustment lock it back to the transmission connect um, your u-clip back in place connect it onto the shifter lever and now I'm in the car I'm testing it and you will notice the gear indicator actually moves now before no matter how much I moved the um, the gear selector it would stay on one position even though the, the selector was moving the there would be no movement on the dashboard okay so it's actually doing what it's supposed to do right now I am the DIY Yachty if this video was helpful bless up